Hey guys, Let's Chat 6 here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Wooger Strap Edge, which gives haptic feedback while you're playing games, listening to music, different things that cause different levels of audio. For our purposes, we're going to be using it to test out in VR games, more particularly Beat Saber since it's a music-based game. If you're not familiar with haptic feedback, there are various vests and straps and facial interfaces out there that have it, and the purpose is to give you a more realistic sense of touch when something happens in those games. For example, if you're hit by a bullet and you're, you have this facial interface, usually you would feel it hitting your face. It's just another way to add more immersion to these games. Wooger was kind enough to send me one of their straps and I'm very excited to see how well it works. Before we get started today, if you're not already subscribed, please go down below and hit that subscribe button with the notification bell so I can keep reviewing more products for you guys. Thanks, let's take a look. So here we are on the Wooger website where you can buy the Strap Edge and they have a current sale going on for 129 instead of 179. So that's a really good savings there. Again, it's a limited time offer. So if you're watching this video after a while, you'll probably not have that anymore, but I'm sure there will be more in the future. So they have a really cool setup here on the website as well, describing all the uses for the Strap Edge. Like this guy's listening to music. He's playing video games. She's also listening to music. You can use it for movies, which I can imagine makes a huge difference. So I'm noticing here that this runs on Bluetooth, which means that it probably functions on any Bluetooth device. So now that you've seen a glimpse of the website, let's unbox this thing. So here's a close up of what the box is going to look like. I'll show all sides for anybody who's curious. Got Wooger logo on the side. Have this other side showing a little description of the strap edge. And it's sealed by this plastic sleeve here that really wants to come off. So let's get rid of this. Okay, when you open the box, you're greeted by this little foam here. Let's get that out of the way. And there's your Wooger strap. Very shiny and nice looking. You have a rubbery surface here for the controls and everything. So it kind of reminds me of my full body tracking belt. I'll show you that here. Same idea where you kind of strap it to yourself. And this can be used as not only a belt, but also a cross body strap, whatever you would like to use it for those purposes. Also in the box, you get this fabric storage pouch, which is a good idea if you're gonna be traveling with it or taking it with you outside of the house. Then you're gonna have various cables that come with it to either charge it or connect it to different things. So this is a USB-C to USB-A connection. And again, I'm assuming that's for charging purposes. I really like when products nowadays use USB-C because it's the more modern version of charging. Then you have this aux cable. Again, I'm assuming that's if you're just gonna use your phone to listen to music or watch movies and you'll be close by to whatever's happening. But for today's video, we're gonna be using the Bluetooth. So like I said earlier, we're gonna be testing this out using Beat Saber to see how well it adds to the immersion factor. get the idea there. So here I have an Oculus Quest 1 and I'm just going to kind of explain how you set these up. If you remember correctly the Quest 1 had two headphone jacks and that made it a lot easier to connect the Wooger strap because you have the aux cable that came with it so one end would go into one of the ports and the other end would be your headphones. That becomes complicated with the Quest 2 now. Quest 2 only has one headphone jack. So if you're using an audio solution like the Deluxe Audio Strap, then you're gonna have issues connecting it because the cable's not gonna be long enough. 
let me explain. So here we are again on the Wooger website and they give instructions on how to connect the Quest and the Quest 2. For Quest 1, you had a lot easier of a time, again, because of the two audio ports. You had the option of using the aux cable on one end of the strap and then into one of the ports and then you could just plug your headphones into the other port. So because Quest 2 only has one port, your only choice is to connect the headset audio into the strap and then use the strap's headphone jack with your headphones. Like I said, the deluxe audio strap cable is way too short to reach all the way down to that strap. So unless you can get the Bluetooth to work with minimum latency, or you have headphones that are not the deluxe audio strap where the cables are longer, then you're gonna have some issues connecting the Quest 2 with this strap. That being said, because the Quest and Quest 2 are direct connections, I would assume it's going to be just as accurate as I found the index to be. As long as you're okay with disconnecting your deluxe audio strap each time you use it, and you have some semi-long earbuds lying around, you should be fine. I do have some good news for Oculus Link users though. They will have an easier time using it because they can follow the same process I did for my index, where I connected the Bluetooth to my computer and then mirrored the Steam VR audio to the Wooger strap. And it worked really well, so that's an option too. Overall, I was surprised how well this worked. I was a bit underwhelmed at first because it does depend on heavy bass or loud noises to give stronger haptics. However, playing through an entire Beat Saber song really gave me a good idea of its actual functionality, and I would definitely say I was impressed. Games like Beat Saber already get people dancing and moving around, and something like this is just going to make that even better. At a $129 price point, and even its normal $179, I would absolutely say something like this is worth it. It was very accurate, and I had no issues with latency or anything like that. This product does exactly what it promises, and I would say overall I'm happy with it. I can only imagine how more intense games like shooters and things like that would feel because immersion is 10 times as important there. Thanks for watching guys. Please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon down below so you can be notified for future videos like this. Thanks. Bye.